Hey everyone, today I am reviewing Master of Sorrows by Justin Cole. This book was actually a cover buy because I mean, look at it, it is super pretty. Today I will be sharing my thoughts on this book. The story is about um, a young boy, an orphan boy, and he is mentored by an older uh, magician and he needs to learn magic. His mentor is like a father figure and he is training Anef to become a better magician. Anef also goes to the academy um, where he needs to train to become an avatar. In this school there is a lot of rivalry. Anef goes to this academy to pass his test. This book for me is mainly about the school, about passing his tests to become Master Avatar and about the rivalry between the boys going to the school, um, about performing tests and um, about learning magic. The book is, in my opinion, very character-based, but it takes place in a very complex world. One could say there are a lot of cliches like the mentor, um, teacher and the orphan boy and going to school and the rivalry going on there. I think the author did a great job in bringing these cliches in a new and interesting way. Because we are dealing with such a complex world, the build-up in this book is very slow. But there is no info dumping whatsoever, so I think that was a very positive thing about this um, book because that's one of the things that I'm really having trouble with in bigger books and that's just like they're dumping all kinds of info but not in this book it's like really slow but there's no info dump you just get to know everything about the world very slowly I think if the pacing would have been faster I would have enjoyed the book more than I did um, because I just like fast-paced stories you know some people like slow pacing I like uh, fast pacing so that's okay everyone can have his or her opinion about this but um, I think this was yeah it was a little too slow for me but I can imagine that so many people will like this book for it if you like reading high fantasy with complex worlds character based and a slow pacing with no info dumping I think this will be an amazing read for you our main character or protagonist is called Enef. I hope I'm pronouncing that the right way because I have no idea. Um, so our main character is called Enef and I think he's a very sympathetic hero. I really liked him as the hero of the story and I think that was a nice pick. There is only one perspective and that is um, the voice of Enef and I think um, this is one of the reasons that made the book simpler to read because we're dealing with a lot of complexity and I think um, if there would have been more uh, perspectives or main characters I think it would have been confusing and longer than necessary. Next I want to talk about the love story um, because a lot of people like a love story in the book. There are almost no stories without love story in it and I <laughs> I like love stories in books, okay? Um, this book also has a love story like most books have um, but it is very subtle. For me personally the love story could have used some more build up because I now have the feeling that I had to deal with this kind of insta-love. The two characters fall in love with each other like instantly and I think it just could have used a little bit more build-up and a little bit more depth. It didn't bother me that much, it's just it would have made the story better I guess um, when there was a little bit more depth to the relationship of um, between Anif and his love interest. It's not that I didn't enjoy reading it, it's just like there was something missing for me. So overall I really enjoyed reading this book. Um, there were a lot of moments where I had trouble um, getting through it because it's just a very very slow book. You can see and you can notice how many time and how many effort the author has put into creating this world 
and actually I'm I'm curious about the next book in the series because I think there will be 12 books in total don't shoot me if I'm wrong um, but I thought I've read um, on Goodreads that there will be 12 books um, if everything goes as planned. So there is a lot that is going to happen uh, in this series and I'm actually a bit curious um, how it is going to evolve, especially with the ending and the love interest and all. Um, I might read it, um, but I don't know for sure because it was so slow for me. If you like high fantasy and if you like character-based stories with a complex world, with a lot of action and slow, <laughs> slow pacing, then I think this is this is a book that you're absolutely going to love. If you're more like me and like really fast-paced stories, um, and then I think you the chances are higher of being disappointed. Um, but like I said, I enjoyed reading it. I'm happy that I read it, but I don't know. I think it's just not. I think it's just not 100% my kind of story. If you're wondering if you should read this book, then I hope this video was useful and helped you make up your mind. Thank you for watching and see you next time.